Hey everybody! Today I want to show you the new Step Effects feature in Sundog 3.8. I will show you how you can create humanized bass lines and melodies, create more natural piano arpeggios and how you can use Sundog to generate new melodies for you. I already created chord progression in Sundog and I set the source mode to chord notes. Now a 0 in the step sequencer will trigger the bass note of the active chord, a 1 will trigger the second note of the chord and so on. A hash symbol means that Sunlock will stop the currently playing notes. Now let's see how we can use step effects to create a baseline that changes over time. When you click on the field over here, the step effect window will come up. Basically, you only have to understand two things. On the left, you have some probability sliders. They show you how likely an effect on the right will occur. So 0% means that the effect will never happen. 50% means that the effect will happen in half of all cases. And 100% means that the effect will always happen. Let's see what happens when we change the probability of turn step into hash. As you remember, the hash symbol stops all playing notes. Now when we go to 100%, we will always do a stop instead of playing a new note. But when we move it to the middle, we can simply humanize the baseline a bit. We can also change the probability that the note is getting played on a high octave. And of course, we can also combine different step effects. Now let's create a more sophisticated baseline. We use 8 steps. Add some notes and for the last note we randomize the note trigger bit. Ok, now let's add a piano arpeggio. I prepared a basic arpeggio and it sounds quite static. To humanize it, we could randomize the velocity of each step now. However, it's easier to click on the advance button over here and then randomize the velocity of all steps. But let's get back to the arpeggio. When you hear a piano arpeggio, it's very common that the piano player will continue to hold down the notes when another note is getting started. Sunog usually stops all playing notes before a new note becomes active. However, we can use a trick to change this. Click on Step Effects and then set Resume Playing Notes to 100% for the last steps. When we export this sequence to our DAW via drag and drop, we can see that the resulting MIDI file uses overlapping notes for the arpeggio. Let's use another instrument box to play back the full chords as well. And we already have a nice relaxed tune. Let's add a randomized lead melody. As you can see, the note height of the second note is getting randomized each time. And in half of all cases, the note won't be played at all. The last note of the sequence also contains some note height randomization. Let's listen to the result. As you can see, as long as Sunlock is playing, the melody will always keep on changing. But here's a trick. When you drag and drop this sequence to your DAW, Sunlock will generate a MIDI file for you. 
When you do this several times, you will always get a different melody. This way you can use Sundog to write a whole bunch of melodies for you. And you can edit these melodies in your DAW as you like. Ok, I wish you a lot of joy with Sundog and the step effects. Make sure to download Sundog at feelyoursound.com and see you next time.